I'm Laurie Pox and today I'm going to show you why I chose Vice FX. It is the most natural sounding amp and effects processor I've ever tried. In this demo, I'll use the standalone version, which is the easiest way to use Vice FX. Clean tones as well as overdrives are really organic. From now on, I'll certainly be using Vice FX on every video on my channel. Even if you don't know anything about software, you can't go wrong with Vice because it does look like an actual pedal board. You can organize your pedals in the chain, use the effects loop, try as many combinations as you like, it's an intuitive interface. And it sounds like a real rig to me, straight from your computer. You don't need any additional software, no need for DAW, just plug and play. First, my clean tone. I was searching for that twangy, clean, slightly crunch tone that you can hear on Brad Paisley albums, for example, like a modern country tone. Here's my setup. I'm using the dual amp option. On the left, I have the 94 Match DC, and on the right, the 66 British TB30. You can also choose to set both amps at the center. So I added a CS3 compressor, which is a pedal that I use in real life. I really like it, and this one sounds very similar to the original one. I have a tube boost to fatten my tone in a subtle way, plus a short delay. Now we're moving on to my blue stone. I've made two presets. The first one is for the slide part. I wanted a thick tone, so I added an overdrive pedal and a boost in addition to the amp. It's very easy to change the mic position and the cap too. My lead blue stone is slightly different. I just added some delay and changed the boost. Finally, my rock presets. I like to keep it simple. It's an ACDC type of sound. In this example, I recorded two rhythm guitars and a lead guitar. Here are my presets. I don't need anything more. Those British JTM45 and Plexi emulations are great, by the way. I think Vice FX did a fantastic job with these amps. They are my favorite and they work great with overdrive and boost pedals. If you want the interface to look even more realistic, you can click on this icon. And here's your pedal board. All the presets I've made are available on ToneCloud. What's great is that you can download them for free along with tons of other presets made by biased users. <laughs> 